What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all know what time it is. Coffee Talk app. Welcome to the strip. Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the app. Coffee Talk app. It's your boy, Big Dean. Tapped in again, man. I was not going to do... Oh, hold on before I start. Don't nobody say shit because I'm sipping out of a Christmas cup. It was the quickest one I could find to put this coffee in to jump on this topic. Now, here's the thing. This is what we're going to discuss. Because, first, 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 first and foremost, shout out to Coolin and the crew. Shout out to Mr. Skinny. Shout out to T3, the polar bear. Shout out to the Star Report and Star over there doing this thing. Shout out to J Town and the Chocolate Vibes over there doing their thing. Shout out to Above a Clothing. Shout out to Supine. Shout out to uh, Shout out to my guy Jeepin. His show be cranking. I like that show. Um, oh wow, it's, it's a couple more, man. I'm gonna get to it. In the next video, I'll probably do a specific shout-out type of video. Y'all know how I open up. I just want to get on this topic today because it's some BS. So, as y'all know, y'all been hearing, because y'all been in these new YouTube streets, about Monique. And D.L. Hughley going back and forth. Or whatever it was. I, I didn't really hear it. Nor did I really uh, go into researching it. Because it's you'll, you'll figure it out through what I'm about to say. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all think that's content? I'm just saying, think real hard. What do I mean? Do I think that's content? Well, here we go again. On the cusp of another big bullshit ass discussion about a bunch of bullshit that don't matter. At least not to you and me. Really don't matter to them either. But they'll make it headlines. So what I'm saying is, who cares? How have anything DL said to Monique or anything Monique said back to DL affected your personal life? Did it make you better? Did it make life better? Did they add solution? Was it a problem brought up that we needed some clarity on here? Or is this just a story that just came out of nowhere that who gives a fuck? Who cares what DL said to Monique? And who cares what she said back? Literally, these are two comics who I'm not a fan of particularly anyway. DL is particularly not funny to me. And Monique is particularly not funny anymore to me. So is this some type of play that the actors and actresses is running? You know, some relevancy shit. I'm pretty sure she don't got a new movie coming out. Perhaps he might. Or he might be making a cameo. Or perhaps it's to promote podcasts that either the two could be doing or showing up on. What I'm saying is, how many of y'all know what grade y'all kid going to next year? Or the GPA they finished this school year with? <coughs> Probably none of y'all. But you know this bullshit about Monique and DL. Or at least you paying it attention. I find it utterly ignorant and repulsive. Because it's another bullshit story. You see, let me get to the grapes of this shit right quick. There are still teens being murdered by the shitload. There was just a mom shot up while pregnant. There was just another mass shooting. And before that, there was a mass shooting. 
These are all the things that platforms that should be taking the time now to research and come to some type of clarity and some type of um, informational basis for us to follow as public. This is what they should be doing. But yet and still, they still reporting on goofy ass rappers doing dumb shit. Actors and actresses discussing dumb shit. And the same old Hollywood buffoonery spread out about a bunch of dumb shit. So it's as if nobody really give a fuck. And then when they get the pedestal or the opportunity to show where they do give a fuck, they take it and piss it off and blow it out the window. Like most of you YouTubers. I'm talking about the doxing YouTubers. The goofy YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? The ones that think they be beefing and creating this bullshit and running this and doing all that. Because none of that is real content. Because none of that is real wholesome information that a person could use. See, they think it's content because they caught up with the keep up with the Joneses illusion. That shit ain't content. It's just bullshit. Anytime when you get into tips with men versus women, men cussing women out over bullshit, then you know what it is. And then they get into this doxing thing. That's starting to become real popular amongst YouTube. Is to discuss doxing. Is doxing illegal? That was a big question. Let me just give it to you like this. As an ex-private investigator, I can assure you, with all positivity, that most of the doxing that we're seeing going on on YouTube is in fact illegal. In fact, illegal. See, some of y'all might say, oh, no, you can do that. It's public record. Well, let me just read something for you. Now, this is according to Florida, and I say that specifically <coughs> for a specific reason. Is doxing illegal? Hmm. Well, in order for it to be illegal, you would have to be harassing someone or it would have to be under the bound of harassment, stalking, intimidation, or a number of illegally obtained ways that you got the information. But here's the catch right here. Now I want you to pay close attention. Listen to these words. According to Florida statute, section 784.0483, a person who willfully, maliciously, and repeatedly, <coughs> let me read that again. A person who willfully, maliciously, and repeatedly follows, harasses, or cyberstalks another person and makes a credible threat to that person to that commits the offense of aggravated stalking, a felony of third degree punishable as provided in Section 775.082, comma, S dot, and 77508. Excuse me, 775.083. It's illegal in the way that it's being used. Let me tell you something. If you do this to somebody and they file a complaint on YouTube, that's a complaint on YouTube. YouTube is not a court of law. YouTube is not a judge, a jury, or a lawyer. So yeah, YouTube could do something about it. It could be punishable by YouTube standards. 
or you could just smarten up. After a person have doxed you and you've confronted the situation and made it perfectly clear that you didn't want this done <clears throat> or that they've done it more than once so you made the complaint that you didn't want it done and they continue, now it becomes harassment. If a person follows you from one channel, doxes information from that channel or a live or something of that sort and then catch you over here and do some more damage according to that right there is cyber stalking if because we also know that harassment comes now verbally too as well so if the person made a couple vulgarities towards you yeah they've threatened you that's aggravated assault verbal you hear me that's just to put that out there and clear that up because that's a lot of the shit that's going on that's distracting us too as well as if you know what i'm saying so i'm also going to take the high road on this one and say as if though most information ain't public anyway to the right sources why people try to be so discreet your information is not a secret to those who have the sources but back on the high horse <clears throat> let me ask y'all something something else yeah it's a, maybe a bit of off of what I usually talk about but did you see the Javante Davis fight here's the thing I got a message for Roly. my guy it's time that when y'all in a boxing match, once you learn the fundamentals and you've been in the sport and you've been around it long enough, you know that holding is not a handicap. It's part of strategy. So I can't stand when a boxer, because let me tell, I'm gonna tell you what he said. What he said was <clears throat> he was whooping on Javante until he got caught with a punch that's all i just got caught with a punch let me tell you something oh oh he also said he was running from me the whole beginning of the fight until the end he wasn't running from him niggas be mad when they can't hit you but they find themselves getting the shit hit back out of their asses they get confused with all this <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. Thinking that they beating on you, beating your ass. While all the time, you over there like, mm, 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 They ain't hit shit. You feel me? They ain't hit shit. Now they tired. And so you clock is at, bam. Roly, you was being foolish, capping, talking that shit to the champ. He came in there, bent you over his knee, beat your ass. You lost, bruh. You didn't, you absolutely right though. You're absolutely correct. You got caught with a punch. Caught means he swung, or in this case, you swung, he dipped your bitch ass, countered you and knocked you the fuck out. That's all that was. So yeah, I saw the fight. Well done, Javante. Well done. Congrats to you, bro. Keep moving. But anyway, the uh, like... Comment, share, subscribe, join the Discord. It's down there in the description. Y'all act like y'all be engaged, man. Get in the comment section. Let's discuss some of this stuff. For real. But I'll be right back because I got a lot more to talk about. It's been a couple days and I got a lot of subjects. I've been through the YouTube streets. And there's a lot of things that I'm going to start pointing out. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Coffee Talk app, man. Big ding.